Hello, I'm Jamar with Sell and Buy Homes. And in this video, I will show you a few ways on how you can schedule some listings for your client. The first way that I'm gonna show is simply off of the MLS. So when you're in your MLS system, you can click on the show and time button. Once you open up show and time, um, the number one way that I like to do it is I like to set up a showing cart for my customers. The reason why I like to do this is because under the showing cart, when you have for your customers, it will actually keep up with your particular customer in the showings that they looked at for that day. So just give you an example. If I click on this particular showing cart from the past, you can see that there were five showings that we actually showed that customer. All right, so, and how you do this is, if you come here, under the tour date, you can select the day. If you have a buyer, you can select your buyer or you can add a new buyer. And if you don't wanna do a buyer and you wanna label it something else, you can label it um, whatever name you want to label it for that time and as you see I created a test one earlier so I'm gonna go ahead and jump in to this test so under this test there's a few ways you can insert your listings if you have the MLS numbers you can insert all of the MLS numbers and it will pull all of your listings into the search if you don't have your MLS numbers and you need to add them with a address, you can simply select add listings. When you go here to add listings, you could, I'm gonna just pick a few that's on the MLS at the current time. And if you select the name, you see that it's active, you see the MLS number and you select here and it will pull in the search and if you want to add another one you can do so let's, let's just add maybe three and let's add one more All right, so as you see, we added three listings. So once you're in here and you add those listings, and you know, this, this has a smart route feature. So if you select smart route, it will actually route this in a way that they feel is the smartest route to go from your listing. So you can go from one, two, to three. Now, of course, if you did not like that route, you have the ability to just drag and adjust and you can change that route manually if you if you like. Now, once you select the time that you would like to go and show this particular house, it will show you the distance from this home to the next home, which it is saying that they are eight minutes away. And that'll give you a good idea of the time that you would like to schedule your next listing. Now, once you schedule all of your listings in the, in the times that, that you have scheduled, you can see here these two particular right here that says not yet requested, these will be requested automatically once you hit send request through showing time. So it will be sent to the listing agent and they can go on the computer and decide to accept or decline those showings. This one here is not set up to where it can send to them automatically. So instead, you would actually have to view the showing instructions and the showing instructions will let you know exactly how you can request and, and view this particular listing. And once you get a confirmation, you could come in and confirm it. So that's one way that I like to use showing time to schedule 
my appointments. Now let's say if you're in the MLS. So if you are in the MLS and you're looking for a specific home, or if you have, of course, uh, uh, a couple couple homes. So let's let's search by the city of Orlando, and we'll narrow down. We'll, We'll narrow down the search just a little bit. We'll say 250 through 300, just so the list is not that long. And four bedrooms, try to bring down that search. So click results. So if you're in this system and there's, say you, you were doing the search and there's these five properties that you would like to see, you could check those and you could click showing time and you have those same options that I went over before. If you were actually inside of one particular listing, you can scroll down and see the viewing instructions as well as you can come right here to showing time and you could either schedule a single showing or you can add to a showing cart. The last way that I'm gonna show is if you were using your HomeSnap app. Now, the thing that I love about HomeSnap is, yes, you can schedule, you can do this on your computer, but you can also use your mobile device and it looks the same way. So if you're in HomeSnap, and in this case, we'll use the city of Kissimmee, just to bring up some examples. So if you're in a home in Kissimmee, and we'll use this one, all you have to do on your HomeSnap app is scroll down a little bit and you'll see a button that says schedule with showing time. I love this feature. Oftentimes you're out showing houses to customers and you may see a house that just came on the market or that you may have missed. And, and this will give you the opportunity to schedule to view that home right there on the spot. And once you click on schedule showing time, it takes you right to your showing time app and everything is the same from that moment. So I just want to thank you for your time on watching this video. I know that you would have found some information helpful. If you need anything, you can always reach me, Jamar Brown with Sell and Buy Homes. My number is 407-488-5247. Thank you for your time. You have a great day.